Oh baby, you already know what it is. Let's get it. Oh. It's our first piece right here. First piece to victory. You guys want to take a guess on what this is? Yeah? It's exactly that. Look at his massive intake, man. Fit my whole forearm in there. All right, well, that's one piece. Yeah, we can start taking all this apart now. This will be sick, man. I'm so it excited. Uh, unclip it right here. Pull this out. And the whole thing, it's like a little bracket here. I just pulled the whole thing up and it came off. So it's a bit loose. Unclip this stuff here. Now I'm going to take this off and take this off. Loosen this up, take this off. And theoretically, the whole thing should just come right out. That was pretty simple. I pulled that hose out. The whole thing just came out. Look at this tiny little thing. But the uh, air filter looks decent, I guess. There's some leaves in there. But not to worry. It's now time to install this. New so the next thing is uh, a three millimeter hex. I got an Allen key, but if you got a uh, you got it in a socket or anything like that, then you can use it. And then an eight millimeter bolt. We're gonna take these, pull that up. Next thing is next. We're gonna put just line that up right there. Now we got everything we need: the two bolts, two washers, two nuts, and these two air box mounts. <clears throat> and this is how it's gonna go. You got your air box mount this way. It goes on to the bottom. So I'll flip that. So we're, oh, okay. Let's go back. Air box mount goes through. And then we'll line that up. Now that that's lined up, it's gonna be a washer nut. And then you can go ahead and tighten that down. And now, you should have it nice and tight on both. And now what we're gonna do is come here to our old air box, flip her over, and take this, take both of them off. Oh, come on. Oh no, took one off. All right. Now it's very interesting. So I guess this one might have already been taken off at one point because I don't see a second one. Kinda wish it came with two, you know, just in case this happened. But all right, yeah, so mine only had one. I guess the previous owner might have ended up taking that one out. So I'll go ahead and just put that onto one of them on where I want it to be. I'll do the inboard one. It's not a big deal. And cool, there it is. I'm not too worried about it. I'll end up buying another one in the future and then just replacing it in there. Next step, this is what we're gonna need. Uh, a four millimeter Allen key, a four millimeter hex head, flat head, the adapter, the mini filter, this one bolt nut and the washer, as well as the eight millimeter socket. And we're gonna take that big end and poke it on the outside like that. And then we're gonna take the bolt and I'm just gonna send that bolt home right there. And then we're gonna add a washer and a nut to the other side and then go ahead and tighten that down. Now that you got this tight, poster up. Now that you got her tight, you can put in that small. And you can put the small filter in. Just like that. And I'll leave this facing up so it's easier for me to tighten. Tighten that. All right, there we go. Now we have the housing ready. This is tight. These are tight. This is tight. This filter's on tight. And let's go ahead and throw her in. The liberty of actually cleaning that section out. Now it looks a lot better. I'll try to get as much dirt out as I could, but I couldn't. So gonna go put this thing back in there slide her in oh. 
say that's about good right there, how it sits in there like a clip. That ain't going anywhere. That air is definitely going to be coming in here. I like that. I already like the way it looks, and it's not even all done yet. One of the last pieces here. For this, we're just going to go ahead and install her all the way on top. Cool. So I just put her in there and push them all down. Should be sitting basically butt up against this. So it's kind of flush. Now, you know, for the extra 50 horsepower, I'm gonna put that right there. And there we go. Nice little 034. Well, now that we got this part installed, I'm just gonna take this hose. And we got a clipper in there. like that nice and tight this ain't going nowhere all right cool 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 almost done here boys last, one of the last sets of things we're gonna need so i'm gonna go ahead and start with this all right this is gonna go into that intake and then we got the clamps for it and then this is the bracket to hold it so I already slid it in here. A trick you use soapy water, put it around so that way once this rubber grommet is on, it doesn't stick into it. And all I'm gonna do is go back here. All right, there we go. When I got it seated all the way on there, let's take this other on. Bam, easy day. All right, now that that's on, we're gonna take that big black metal thing, put it here. Looks like it's a 10 millimeter socket. 10 millimeter socket for the nut, and then I'm gonna have to figure out what a hex is. Like five millimeter hex on this, and then a 10 mil socket. And it's gonna go on bolt facing you, nut facing that back side. Yeah, totally forgot you can't get under there without a uh, wrench you need a wrench to really f squeeze back in there I got a really tiny one here and then uh yeah then you just run that down and it should be tight and then we'll move on to the next part cool so i got her tight let her go in there and now we're gonna grab our flathead and we're gonna grab the 74 millimeter it's gonna go right over this i'll put it through the back you want to run it through the back and then we'll make sure to install this as well just completely undo it and then slide it through all right no left handy these are all tight yep all right that's it, boys. That's literally it. That's all it is to take and start your intake in about 15 minutes. This is all tight. Obviously, you want to remember there's going to be a little gap here because of that spacer down there. There's no grooves for that spacer to push into, so there's going to be a gap here regardless. Just keep in mind that because you don't want to sit here trying to push it together to be perfect. It's a fat intake right there. Now let's see what she sounds like. I'll take all my tools off the car first. I really like the way that looks. I, I think that looks super freaking neat, man. X-band, K-band, K-A-band, laser. Ooh, these lights are nice. connected. So I didn't wait for that thing. Oh yeah, you can hear that supercharger whine. Yeah, bro. Oh, bro. All right, we can hear the supercharger whine. Oh yeah, I love that. I'm about to take her out for a test drive here in a minute. On a ride. Freshly installed cold air intake stage 1034 tune. And right now it is currently 62 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Oh, she 
sounds amazing. I love that. All right, let's do one more, one more pull. Manual. All right, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. If you want to see more stuff, comment down what you guys would like to see because I will be building this for some moderately safe, reliable daily horsepower. But uh, definitely love the way the supercharger starts to whine and purr now. And uh, I'm not just quite done with this yet. This drift car is down now after our first event. I completely ruined the front end. So there's a lot of stuff that I gotta replace and go buy now to fix this car. I JB welded the radiator and took a three hour drive home. So uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.